guys, welcome to the doghouse or welcome back to the doghouse. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I have five dogs and with four I like to do some random things sometimes with them. What's funny is that it's not actually the most random things. It's There's always a purpose, even if it's for just fun. Enrichment to my dogs is very important to me. Time with my dogs is important. Sharing that with you guys and inspiring you guys to do maybe even a little bit of the same is basically my goal. So, a simple hula hoop. It's pretty big. It's kind of, yeah, there you go. Just a big standard human hula hoop. And I want to teach my dogs to jump through it. And I want to bring you guys along. So, I've got an idea of how this is going to go. No, I'm not going to use my old dog Harvey. He's the our older pit bull mix dog. Um, he's 13. We don't get him involved in these kind of activities. Definitely going to get Grim. I don't even know where he Where are you at? Grimmy? You guys are ready. Grim's going to get involved. Dexter's going to get involved. I'm probably going to get Lila involved. Grim. Grim's biting it. So, uh, yeah, let's get this started. We're going to get all four dogs involved and we'll. I'll show you the very big differences between the four of them. Oh, here they go. This is what typically happens when I do the intro. All right guys, so I'm gonna do Grim first and he's already kind of like good at agility type things. Not that he's like good at it, but he's familiar with trying new things, especially if they're physical. He, it's probably one of his most favorite ways to train um, and things to do and things to learn. So um, he's pretty easy. Now he does get a little overzealous and you'll see what I'm talking about when I start trying to get him to go through the hoop. But the first steps is just going to be walking through the hoop. He's also very distracted because the kitties like to tease him. Okay, we're not biting it. Hey, Grim. So he's not afraid of it, so that's cool. That was good. He's not afraid of that either. You're, you're going too fast. You don't have to jump yet. He's never done this before. He's used to the word, he knows jump and hop and to get up on stuff and jump over things, but leave it. Let's go. I'm saying leave it for this cat. And of course, Monkey, you can't be involved. Good boy. So that would be the first step. Good boy. Hey, he really doesn't care about food. I've always said it, he's not very food motivated. Good boy. Cat is. Monkey, you gonna do a hula hoop? Monkey. Three legged cat through a hoop. Yay. Good boy. Grip. Yay! Just luring through. Hoop. Good boy. All right, what if I lift it? Hoop. Oh, he touched it. You see, it's a little higher. Good boy. Again. Hoop. Yes. Good job. Grimmy. Hoop. Good boy. That was pretty. You look like a trick pony. Grim. Hoop. Yes. Missed it. Monkey will get it. So lots of... Oh lord. Okay. Good boy. Okay. So for a lot of dogs, and you'll probably see with the other dogs, probably not Dexter, but for my more insecure dogs, you wouldn't even pull it off the ground yet. So I just know that Grim enjoys this kind of stuff. If I had a ball instead of treats, he'd probably be even more into it, which is fun, but difficult to train. Grim here. Grimmy, Ooh. good boy. I'm gonna try really high now. Can we do it this way? Okay. Grim. Grimmy, Ooh. good boy. All right. So he made it look really, really good, really easy. We're gonna try somebody else. All right, next up is Gunner, as you can see. And um, I have a feeling he's gonna be a little bit more insecure about the hoop than Grim was. But he's also very excitable, as you all know. Or maybe you don't know. I don't know if you're new here. Gunner's really excitable. So you'll see that. Are you ready? Give a booger. First things first. Here's the hoop. There's his reaction. I am going to use the clicker for Gunner because that's what I've done for him since I had him. Since the beginning four months ago. Very slow. For anything new. 
him to go a little bit further. So I'm just clicking for being near it and putting his head through. Good. There's a little bit more into it. Good. That damn auto sit. Hate it. Pain in the butt. Come. I'm gonna get him frustrated and just expect a little bit more cooperation. Oh, look at that. <laughs> good boy. That's good. You did it already. That's it. Yeah. Um, I definitely wanted to give it to him for touching it and not freaking the F out. He didn't even really know how to like lure. Like I didn't, he wasn't, and he's still not the best at it. Oh, good boy. He doesn't really understand, like, follow the treat. I mean, he's getting better, but we've had to actually teach that. Good boy. It's like not loud at all today. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Yes. What if I lift it just a little? Oh, good boy. You touched it with your feet. Okay, still good. Well, you didn't try to spin every time. It's a problem. Yes. There you go. You missed it. <laughs> Grim is right there at the window behind the camera, just wanting to get in, get out here. Some dogs might not take it this easy. I'm actually surprised he's picking it up as fast and not... Good boy! Some dogs might take days of just putting their head through. Good boy! What's the point in this? Confidence and relationship building. Anytime you can convince your dog that something that is a little, a little scary to them is actually fun, building their confidence and your relationship. Good boy. Got our hoop. I'm out of gloves. I wish I had my venom gloves to feed you. It's because you're so gross. Hoop. Good boy. This is his first time. This is all the dog's first time with this thing. Boop. Good boy. All right, well that was good. Keeping it short, that's part of it. I thought he was gonna do a little bit less good. <laughs> right, Gunner? You did good. Okay, let's get somebody else out here. So I know that this is going to be a little different. Then there's that. Her engagement's not the best. Hello. I also know that her insecurities are all even stronger than Gunner's. Very insecure about. Let me see if I can get slowly turn it. I'll show you her body language. How insecure that looks. See how how resistant she is. Good. She's watching it move, so I'm not even gonna move it. Just gonna treat for being near it. She immediately runs away. Come on. Oh, good girl. Yee. Look, does cat make you comfortable? Good girl. So again, like Gunner, just with her head there. It's chilly. I know it's a little chilly. Bella. Good girl. Being still. Can't move it. Lila. Good. She didn't want the tree, she just wanted to get through it. What was that? Lila. Good girl. So it's good, obviously, being insecure. It's just a hula hoop trick, but building confidence. Um, another way to start it, I mean, I just went with this with having it up already, is you could always put it on the floor. Anything on the floor, it's not just teaching a hula hoop. And getting them used to it that way. You can see it. Bye, love. 
<laughs> good girl. See, she's still even hesitant. That's another way to introduce it. I mean, if you really gotta back it up a step, if I couldn't get her near it, like I already did. Good. Easy, good girl. Good girl. Hey, come on. Yeah. See, she likes it better this way. <laughs> good girl. Let's go. Good. I don't really wanna move it while she's watching, so I'm gonna have her go over there. I'm gonna do that. Lila. Oh, good girl. Did you notice it was higher? Yay! Throw her away. Move it up a little. Lila. Oh, she noticed a little bit it was a little higher. Good girl. Yeah, she even tipped it and didn't get scared. Very good. Oh, good. Yes. Yes. All right, I'm going to attempt to rise it just a little bit higher. Again, keeping sessions short. Byla. 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 She's noticing it now. Here. You like going through it that way now when it's higher? Come on. You just use me. Yay! Good girl. Okay, that was good. Good girl. Actually, again, surprised she didn't do worse. <laughs> but yeah, she wasn't as scared that time. Again, building confidence, building our relationship with pointless fun things. Right, Lala? All right, our crazy man's here. So it's gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see if I can get him to jump through it or even walk through it without attacking it. <laughs> so I don't know what he's gonna do. Do you even notice it? What's that? Ready? Dexter, come. Good. So again, just walking through. Good. Take my fingers off. And he's, what do you, what is that? He's chasing the reflection of something. Oh, good. It's probably the reflection of this hoop. Lift it. Come on, Dexter. Yeah, good boy. Let's go. Yes. Oh, pick it. Went through it. That's good. Okay. Dexter. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna push his little limits. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Good. There is no word to this. He doesn't know a word, so saying a word is pointless right now. Good boy. Dexter, leave it. Let's go. Uh -uh. Let's go. Good. A little. He's so dramatic. You're so extra. But we all knew that was going to happen. Okay. Good boy. The only thing to watch out for. Okay. Go. Dexter is to not let him actually make contact with my hand while he's in the air. So he will definitely just latch on. Okay. Good, wait till he's landed. <laughs> Dexter, yeah. Good. So with him, I'm gonna add the word loop. Again, this is not, doesn't really matter. He doesn't really know hoop, but Mr. Hoop, good. But that's how you start associating any command with an action. Hoop, hoop, good. It's just a sound to him right now. Hoop. Oh, that was me. Dexter, hoop. Where you going? Hoop. Good boy. Hoop. There. Hoop. I guess I dropped it. That's why I don't like to. Hoop. That's why I don't like to drop food on the floor for dogs because sometimes they can just be so obsessed with looking for it. Dexter, hoop. Hey. Hey. Hoop. Let's go. Hoop. Good. Go higher. Do a little different angle. Dexter, hoop. Good boy. Hoop. Let's go. Hoop. Good boy. All right. Well, that was that was fun. They actually all did really well. A lot better than I thought they were gonna do. Um, Dexter didn't take my fingers off. Nobody did. I still have all my fingers, which was very cool. Again, this was just kind of like some pointless stuff you can do with your dog. It doesn't take a whole lot of money to teach them to jump through a hoop. 
I mean, Walmart or whatever, like big box store. Cheap hula hoop from the store, some treats, boom. Got a little training session, a little confidence building session. All the dogs are panting after five minutes, not even, because they gotta use their brains. You'd be surprised. You don't always have to exercise your dogs physically, but mentally um, is also really important. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was at least a little entertaining and kind of cute. Um, and maybe inspiring to do some cool stuff with your own dogs. If you have questions, a lot of people are like, oh, how do I exercise my dog more besides like walking them? Here you go. Teach them a hoop. Teach them to jump through a hoop. They gotta do a little something. Obviously, be careful with your dog's joints. If you've got a dog that's got some knee issues, don't go crazy with this. Uh, walking through is simply good enough to do some confidence building and just brain thinking. It's a little brain teaser for them. So. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.